Hi folks, thanks very much for joining me for this week's still water tutorial. What you see in the vise is another booby lure and uh, without further ado, let's get into it. The hook in the vise then is a Hanak H250 barbless hook. This one's at size 8, it's on a heavy wire hook and it's bronze. The thread I'm going to be using today is the uni thread, it's at 6O and it's the yellow. So I've already added some wax to my thread to save a bit of time. First thing I'm going to do is catch on just in behind the eye and run a bed of thread up the shank of the hook. Now I'm going to run this all the way back to just before the bend or just past where a barb would be on a normal hook and then I'm going to snip away my waist and I'm going to get my rugby ball in at the back. If you, if you follow the videos you know that when I'm tying a fly with quite a long marabou tail I like to have a build up of thread just in at the back there and the reason for that is it stops the tail wrapping round the bend of the hook which can be quite annoying when you're fishing. Okay, first thing I want to do is add my first layer of tail. I'm using the Comp Candy. This is the uh, Lunar UV Marabou. And I've got a feather that I've been working with just here. Now, I'm only going to take a small amount of fibre from the stem. About a thumbnail's worth. I'll take that off. And I'm going to just put a little twist in at the end and then remove it just makes cleaning up a little bit easier as well so keep the marabou on the top of the shank and then get that all the way down now this fly is very obviously not competition legal if you wanted to tie it to be competition legal then at this point you would come in with your thumb and forefinger and snip the tail to the required length but I'm not worried about that this is for fishing small still waters, really. Next, I'm going to add a middle fibre for my tail, and what I'm going to be using is this ice blue from Troutline. It's like a little uh, flash fibre. Don't know how well you can see it in, in the packet, but I've got some out already. Uh, and it's just like a sort of shimmer flash, if you like. And what I want this to do is come slightly past my marabou tail. So I'm going to wet my thumb and forefinger and just straighten that out. So what I want to do is have it just past, maybe a centimetre or so, like so. I'm going to come, a couple of turns should do it. Lock it into place, then bend the remaining fibres back. All the way back to the base of the fly and you can park your thread. Now as you can see this is far too long so what I'm going to do is come in, with, in fact it's not on camera but if uh, what I'm doing is I'm not cutting it I'm just using my scissors to saw so that I get a nice little tapered edge there. Again thumb and forefinger just helps you get everything in order it's got a really long tail on it, this fly. Uh, and, and the end of it's actually off the camera, so you won't be able to see that. But again, I've got my marabou plume. I'm going to take a slightly over a thumb's nail this time. And I'm going to add that on top. Again, just give it a little twist remove the waste and add that on top. Now, note how much space I'm leaving between the eye and where I'm tying my marabou. And there's a good reason for that because the body material is going to be quite bulky and uh, I'm going to have my work cut out for me anyway. So, the more space you leave yourself, the easier you make the job in the end. So just make sure that's well tied down. Nobody likes the tail coming out. 
and then just trim that up. Now last week we did the hot spot booby where uh, I added a little green spot underneath the rather large eyes. This week we're not going to do that, I'm going to do something a little bit different with this. So the body itself then, this is uh, this is from F&F. &F. Um, I haven't got the packet anymore but it's called Bush Baby I believe and uh, if I'm wrong I'll, I'll put the correct item description in the comments below but I think it is called Bush Baby but I'll check that out and confirm in the description so I've just removed some of the material and left the exposed core I'm going to catch that in and then wrap it down. I'm going to stop a quarter of an inch back from the eye and then I'm going to bring my material over. Sweeping it back with the thumb and forefinger of my left hand each time. It's quite a bulky material that and that's why the 250 is so good for this kind of pattern. Uh, it's got a huge gape uh, and so you're not losing that to the fish. bring it round and then again I'm just pulling back to see how much room I've got and I think I'm going to make that my last turn. It's going to come round, capture that in, three turns there over the material then I'm going to get a couple of turns in front then I can come in with my scissors and take that away. Holding your thread under tension, you can remove any of the loose material and put it in the bin. Then, what I'm going to do now is come to my eye, come all the way back, about a quarter of an inch. And what I'm doing here is just making room for my booby eyes. Just going to add some more wax to my thread. And then that can go back. And I'm liking the look of that. So it's like a, it's not a blob, but it's like a blob material, like an egg material if you like. But when I filmed the uh, video at the Aubrey Estates the other week, I was fishing with a, a humongous pattern and I did a little video of uh, the fly swimming in the water and it was really interesting to me the amount of action I got from that long tail. So I thought I would give this little lure a try uh, with a similar sort of action. So next we're going to add in our little tic tac eyes. Again, if you haven't seen me do this before, I'll stick a little link up uh, in the information bar which shows you how I do that. And then I'm going to loop around my thread twice to catch my booby eye in and then dress it up to the hook. Once I've got it on top, now it's not falling favourably for me, I've got to say. Catch it in with th three or four turns, one way, pull your eyes to the side, three or four turns the other way. Now, I'm a huge fan of big boobies, booby eyes, sorry, uh, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> uh, but you'll notice that these ones are a little bit smaller and the reason for that is I'd rather have this fishing on or near the bottom of the lake. Uh, obviously the bigger eyes you've got, the more buoyant the fly, uh, which is fine, but it's, it doesn't suit my purposes for this one. So I'll get a couple of turns in, come in with my whip finish tool, And then I can take that away. And then just to finish off, what I'm going to do is put a dab of super glue in behind the in between the eyes, sorry. 
just so it soaks into the thread and everything goes nice and solid. And so if you can imagine, I'll just take that out of the vise. When this is fishing now on a, on a sinking line, um, the booby's trying to bring it up, the line's pulling it back down, and you get that motion with the tail, which makes it irresistible to trout. Now what you will get, obviously, is quite a lot of um, tail nips. And if that does start to happen while you're fishing, simply trim up your tail. It's, it's quite straightforward, really. Not rocket science. Anyway, there we go. I hope that's been of some use to you. Uh, the main tip to take away from this is the little bit of flash in between the two layers of marabou really um, gives a lovely effect when it's wet in the water. It's difficult to show you on the vise, but when it's swimming, it looks amazing. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please think about clicking that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time.